Shalom. My name is Rabbi El Dadun, and it is my very sad privilege to be with you here today. We begin our service with the chanting of the 23rd Psalm. I'm going to chant it in Hebrew and then recite it in English. Should you feel inclined, please feel free to join me with the words. Adonai oi lo bin ot de she yarbitseni al mei menuchot al mei menuchot yenaleni nafshi yeshover yeshover Nafsheni b'maglei tzedek Yanacheni b'maglei tzedek L'eman shemo Gam ki elech megei tzal mavet lo hira Ki ata imadi Shivtecha umishantecha Hey, my anuchuni Taharoch lefanai shulchan Shulchan keneget sorerai Deshanta Beshemen Roshi Kosi Revaya Achto Vachesed Yardefuni Kol Yemei Chayai Kol Yemei Chayai Veshavti Beveit Adonai Leorech Yami Adonai roi lo Adonai is my shepherd, I shall not want, giving me repose in green meadows, leading me beside the still waters to revive my spirit, guiding me on the right path, for that is God's essence. Though I walk through a valley of the shadow of death, I fear no harm, for you are with me. Your staff and your rod, they give me comfort. You prepare a banquet for me in the presence of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and kindness shall be my portion all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of Adonai forever. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we will remember him. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we will remember him. In the opening buds and in the rebirth of spring, we will remember him. In the blueness of sky and in the warmth of summer, we will remember him. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we will remember him. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we will remember him. When we are weary and in need of strength, we will remember him. When we are lost and sick at heart, we will remember him. When we have joys we yearn to share, we will remember him. So long as we live, he too will live, for he is now a part of us as we remember Greg and all of the members of his family join me, including Aoda, his children, Daniel and Jordan, his mother, Carol, and siblings, Randy and Kenny. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, and life is a journey. From childhood to maturity, from youth to age, from innocence to awareness, and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion, and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength, or strength to weakness, and often back again, 
from health to sickness and back, we pray to health again. From offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion, and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead, we see the victory lies. Not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey stage by stage a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, and life is a journey. A sacred pilgrimage to life everlasting, and today we have the great privilege of celebrating the life of Greg. It was <clears throat> just eight short months ago, almost to the day, on November 19th, 2022, when Greg and Aura tied the knot. With extreme delight, they exchanged their vows, and we all had the chance to reminisce in the way they met. Greg was at the jazz club at the right place at the right time where they met in New York. Aura knew Greg was trustworthy when she was able to leave her purse unattended and go to the bathroom, which gave her the green light to get to know him. Greg and Aura connected instantly and built a partnership based on trust and friendship. For those of you who grew up around him, this was no surprise. Even as a child, he always played the role of entrusted friend and big brother. His siblings, Randy and Kent Kenny, warmly remember that even in their dangerous escapades, Greg was always taking care of them. Kenny always felt protected by Greg and his friends at school, and when Greg graduated high school, Kenny had to find different, more reptilian ways of staying safe. Randy also recalls being safeguarded by her brother. They worked together for a short time at A1 Insurance Company, and while the job itself wasn't exactly all fun and games for Randy, she remembers her brother looking out for her, pushing her to be better, and would say, I'm here to toughen you up. Greg grew up in Cleveland to Carol Dolan and the late Donald Robinson and the late Hershey Dolan on January 26, 1962. He graduated Beachwood High School and later went on to study business at Indiana University. Through his educational experiences, he participated and meaningfully developed his love of sports he pushed himself to be the best athlete he could and was un undaunted by a challenge. So much so that when he heard that some of his triumphant football colleagues took a ballet class to better their balance, he surely did the same. Carol and his siblings remember him coming home to practice his newly learned ballet movements in a leather jacket. Greg lived life with a sense of adventure he loved interacting with people through sports events, concerts, marathons, but it wasn't just about being out and about. Greg deeply cared about human interaction and engaging with people. He sought that human interaction that was nourishing and loving, and his excitement was contagious. It's also these very same qualities that made him the best negotiator. Members of his family fondly remember how intentional he was with negotiation. And again, it wasn't just about the business deal, it was about the human contact. When he taught Randy how to negotiate, he told her that both parties have to be happy and find a way to meet in the middle. Greg understood that negotiation was a dance of compromise and fairness, where both parties were ultimately content in the end. Aura's sister, Stephanie, shares that Greg was so welcoming and embracing. And every time she was on the phone with Aura, Greg would spout out the 15 words of Spanish that he knew. It was important for him to feel that sense of connection with his in-laws, even when it was maybe a little bit silly. Greg had a contagious smile and a positive outlook. He was passionate and he cared deeply around those around him, and he exuded an excitement about life. 
Greg leaves behind his two children, Danielle and Jordan, and he has left loving memories that will be cherished always. May his memory be for a blessing, zichrono levracha, and together we can all say, Amen. This moment I'd like to share a few words from his loving wife, Aura. Broken hearts mend. The kind of void Greg leaves will last until we meet again. Thank God every day for the 10 years we had together. His humor, energy, and passion for life was an instant magnet. I will cherish your stories, our memories, the life we put together. Your light will shine bright in Gun Eden. I wear the name Robinson with pride. Your love, your soulmate. This time I'd love to invite a member of the family to chant the El Malera Hamim, Cantor Kathy Sibo, to join me. As you are able, I invite you to please rise. El Malera Hamim, Shochin Bamromim. Am sim no chana chana ta chakan fe chashchina. Be malot kedoshim otorim, kezohar rakia mazirim. Et nihishmat, shmuel, ben kila rivka, vid david. Shahalach leolamo began head and de hemenu chato. Ahna baharachami mastirechu, besaith terkina fe leolamim. Viti turor, bi turor ha chayim et nishmato. Aronai chuna chalato, vi anuach v'shalom. Al mishkavu v'nomar. Amen. O merciful God who dwells on high and who is full of compassion, grant perfect rest beneath the shelter of your divine presence among the holy and pure who shine as the brightness of the firmament. To our dear departed Greg Robinson, who is known in the household of Israel by the Hebrew name of Shmuel ben Kela Rivka the David. To Greg, who has gone now to his eternal home, may his soul be bound up in the bonds of eternal life and grant that his memory inspire all of us to noble and consecrated living. And to this we say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Friends, for those of you who are wishing to make a contribution in memory of Greg, in lieu of flowers, the family suggests making contributions to your charity of choice. Our service of memory continues at Mount Olive Cemetery from here, and following the internment, the family will receive friends at the home of Mr. and Mrs. Brian Lackritz. The address is 25453 Bryden Road in Beechwood until 7 p.m. this evening, and then again on Sunday from 12 to 4 p.m. On behalf of the family, we thank you for your love and your support on this very sad and important day.